NASA issued an urgent warning. Pluto is not what you think. What is NASA alluding to here? Are they referring to the latest findings from the New Horizons space probe, which show that strange things are going on on Pluto's surface? One of the explosive images actually shows an object that appears to be gliding across the surface of Pluto. This raises disturbing questions as to whether some kind of previously unknown life exists on this distant world, or are we dealing with a strange geological phenomenon? Pluto may be small, but the stories it has to tell are big and full of surprises. When Pluto's planetary status was revoked in 2006, scientists were unaware of the data from the New Horizons probe, which only reached Pluto nine years later. Since then, we have known that there is far more to this little guy than was assumed. How did astronomers actually come to deny this planet, which we have all somehow grown up with, the status of a real planet? It was like this. After the discovery of numerous other tiny planets in the Kuiper Belt, they decided that we needed a boundary for what is a planet and what is a dwarf planet or trans-Neptunian object. Pluto scores points for its size and round shape, but the planet shares its orbit with several other objects. The orbit is therefore not considered to be adjusted, and this was precisely the reason why Pluto was no longer included in the list of large planets in the solar system. Many people on Earth think this is a shame, and this decision by astronomers caused consternation among the population worldwide. Pluto no longer a planet? Many people simply couldn't imagine that. It's crazy that this small planet has so many friends on Earth, and there were letters of protest to NASA, famous scientists who spoke out in favor of the demotion, and even governments received letters from angry citizens demanding that Pluto be a planet again. This planet has been with us since the 1930s and has since been the conclusion of a series of nine planets. As if to advertise this, in 2015, when New Horizons sent us the first real image, the excluded minor planet showed us its cute face. Imagine, it was the first real image of Pluto. If you've seen the planet on blackboards or in school textbooks before, they were purely artistic representations and not real images. Pluto denied even the Hubble telescope a clear view of its face. Only New Horizons was allowed to photograph the little one as it really is. Colorful, friendly, amazingly lively, and with a heart. Since then, the planet on the outer edge of the solar system has won over even more friends and perhaps astronomers will change their minds one day and we will get Pluto back. The first real images of Pluto took everyone's breath away. It was a magical moment when the first data from the New Horizons probe arrived at mission headquarters in 2015. Everyone present knew that they were about to see a planet for the first time that everyone was somehow familiar with but had never seen up close. The computers on Earth put together this fascinating image from thousands of individual bits and pixels. What else the probe revealed about Pluto was a revelation that completely turned our understanding of this distant planet on its head. Pluto is much more varied, much more structured, and much more alive than planetary researchers had previously assumed. In addition, the small planet appeared to be covered in landscape forms and possibly even weather phenomena. Nobody had expected that either. With every new bit that New Horizons transmitted, the blurry, mysterious world in the darkness of the Kuiper Belt became a tangible object that showed so much life that it took scientists' breath away. More and more surprises and geological wonders opened up before the researchers' eyes. Instead of the expected icy and crater-strewn wasteland, Pluto turned out to be a dynamic place with majestic icebergs, deep canyons, and smooth glacial surfaces. It took years for the countless measurement data, photos, and findings to make the long journey from Pluto to Earth. Since 2015, we have been surprised again and again with new fascinating aspects about Pluto. Who is that walking on Pluto's surface? It's shocking. This moving image circulated in the media in 2016. But what can you see here? It looks as if a person is walking across a strange honeycomb-shaped snowdrift. You can actually see ice landscapes here, but unlike on Earth, these frozen surfaces are not made of water, but of nitrogen and methane. Researchers identified the strange object as a dirty iceberg which appears to be gliding over the surface of the ice-covered plain. This massive block of ice is most likely also made of extremely solid nitrogen. 
These bizarre-looking landforms revealed something very special to researchers. They now believe that there is a nitrogen reservoir several kilometers below Pluto's surface in which the solid blocks form. Geological activity in the interior of the planet pushes these blocks upwards, creating the honeycombs and structures such as the apparently wandering mountain. This points to a warm core of the planet, and this finding alone is a sensation that could have far-reaching consequences for our understanding of Pluto. Pluto is far more active than assumed. Geological activity from heat and shifts in surface structures indicate a kind of aliveness that shows we have underestimated Pluto. This little guy not only has a heart, but fire in it, and that could even mean that there are pockets of liquid inside Pluto that resemble oceans or magma chambers of ice. The head of the geology team of the New Horizons mission, William McKinnon, even compared the inner life of the dwarf planet to a lava lamp the size of Hudson Bay in Canada. Computer simulations showed that this impressive landscape developed over millions of years and is still extremely active today. Can you see the distinctive X on the right below the iceberg? This formation was probably created by sublimation. During sublimation, a substance changes directly from a solid to a gaseous state and the liquid phase disappears. These processes occur due to the extreme temperatures on Pluto. Mysterious geological processes and weather phenomena in a dead world? Christmas in the snow on Pluto? Does that sound crazy to you? Well, it's a fact. Pluto really is a surprise. The New Horizons mission revealed fascinating aspects of the climate and seasonal changes on this planet. Pluto, which orbits in the cold, distant regions of the Kuiper Belt, experiences significant seasonal variations due to its eccentric orbit and tilt. The New Horizons space probe discovered that Pluto's atmosphere, a thin layer of nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide changes dramatically depending on how close or far Pluto is from the Sun. The changes affect not only the atmosphere, but also the surface conditions of the dwarf planet. One particularly remarkable aspect of the climatic dynamics is snow on Pluto. This consists mainly of frozen nitrogen and methane. Unlike on Earth, where snow only forms from water, the extremely low temperatures on Pluto cause the far more volatile gases, nitrogen and methane, to condense and fall as exotic snow. All these processes shape and renew Pluto's surface by covering the landscape with fresh deposits. The upheavals, in turn, drive other geological activity in the form of glacial movements and possibly even cryovolcanic processes. The New Horizons research also showed that these seasonal cycles are closely linked to atmospheric density. When Pluto is closest to the Sun, the sparse light is enough to slightly warm up the dwarf planet's atmosphere, causing it to expand slightly and rise. When Pluto moves away from the Sun again, the atmosphere freezes and sinks back to the surface. This dynamic leads to a remarkable phenomenon. When Pluto's atmosphere condenses, it could literally snow, with the snow consisting of nitrogen and methane. The variations in surface brightness and the distribution of icy deposits further suggest that almost all surface features and landscapes on Pluto are associated with these atmospheric cycles. Since Pluto's mountains are not made of rock, but of ice, which is very dynamic in this world, the entire surface moves far more than that of our Earth, for example. What is Pluto's heart made of? Who would have thought that Pluto's heart is not just a pretty trademark? In addition to its prestigious appearance, this region is also one of the most exciting regions on the planet. Officially called Sputnik Planitia, the region is named after the first artificial satellite, Sputnik 1, which the Soviet Union sent into space in 1957. This large, heart-shaped ice surface extends over an area of around 1,000 kilometers and consists mainly of nitrogen ice with inclusions of frozen methane and carbon monoxide. The bright, almost flawless surface of Sputnik Planitia forms a stark contrast to the darker, more complex regions around it. Geologically, Sputnik Planitia is a gigantic impact structure that was probably later altered by volcanic processes. Unlike typical volcanic activity on Earth, where lava emerges from the Earth's interior, cryovolcanism on Pluto involves icy materials emerging from the dwarf planet's interior to the surface. 
The heat sources in the depths of Pluto cause nitrogen and other volatile substances to heat up and push upwards, where they freeze and form unique formations like this one. Sputnik Planitia is remarkably flat, which leads researchers to conclude that the icy surface is regularly renewed by internal processes. It's probably convection processes within the ice sheet that shape these landscapes. Researchers suspect that there may be an ocean of liquid water beneath the smooth ice sheet of Sputnik Planitia, which is kept liquid by the heat inside Pluto. Researchers doubt whether forms of life can exist in this subglacial ocean, but it's not completely out of the question. What role does Charon play? What hardly anyone knew before New Horizons' mission is that Pluto has its own moon, and not just one. Charon is Pluto's largest moon and was discovered in 1978. With a diameter of around 1,212 kilometers, Charon is so large that it forms a highly interesting double system with Pluto. Because both bodies rotate around a common center of gravity outside Pluto, researchers now suspect that Charon is not a real moon at all, but also a dwarf planet that has somehow attached itself to Pluto. This unique constellation has profound effects on both celestial bodies. For example, the gravitational bond between Pluto and Charon leads to tidal forces that affect the surfaces and possibly also the internal structures of both bodies. These forces may be responsible for Pluto's warm interior and the exciting geologic activity it exhibits. Charon's influence also relates to Pluto's rotation both celestial bodies are bound to each other in such a way that they always face the same side. Charon could influence part of Pluto's atmosphere by trapping ejected atmospheric particles. Charon itself does not have a permanent atmosphere of its own, but it probably temporarily captures volatiles from Pluto's atmosphere and thus wraps itself a little in the mantle of its partner. Subscribe now and look forward to new video highlights all the time.